Tested. Hey guys, it's Will from Tested. I am here today with another upgrade for the trusty MakerBot. Uh, today we're putting a heated build platform on. What that is, is basically you, you take this thing that's normally a piece of plastic and the plastic, you know, gets laid down on here and, and your build comes up from here. And we replace it with a, with a heating element and a piece of aluminum that runs about 100 degrees Celsius, 120 degrees Celsius. And what that does is prevents the plastic from cooling unevenly and curling up as it's laid down on the platform. So in order to do that, I'm using this new soldering technique that I've never done before called SMT soldering. It stands for surface mount something or other. And basically what you do is you apply the solder in this paste. It's a kind of, you know, metal-y paste suspension thing. You apply little tiny dots of that all around the heating element, uh, put the components on that you want to solder in place, and then use a hot plate like this one right here to heat the entire thing up to about 220 degrees, I think Celsius, but I'm not entirely certain, read the instructions as I go. And uh, then that solders everything into place and all the hard work is done in one fell swoop. So I'm gonna get started right now by applying some of the paste to the con connectors and uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I've applied a ton of the solder paste. It's on all the little connections around the edge of the board. I'm wearing a goofy magnifier hat thing. Um, the next thing to do is to start dropping resistors onto the, onto the board using uh, my handy dandy tweezers. So they're right here. So I'm gonna do next, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've spent the last like, what, 30 or 40 minutes, I guess, soldering millions of little dubers on here, putting the solder down, laying the little resistors and LEDs onto the spots on the board. Now what I'm gonna do is move this up onto the heat plate, which I probably shouldn't have turned on until I put it there when I think about it. Uh, set this down. I don't think anything moved. Feel pretty good about this. Now I'm gonna keep my, I have my infrared thermometer here. Uh, I'm going to get this to about 220, 240 degrees Celsius. It's important. It's very hot. Don't want to go above 240 degrees Celsius. And what's going to happen is the solder paste is going to kind of melt into just regular solder like you're used to seeing. And magically, all of these millions of connections will be soldered at once. Okay, so the SMT soldering is magical. Literally, what would have taken me hours and hours and hours had I done it with an old school soldering iron like this. It took me like 20 minutes of placing some stuff, 40 minutes of, of dropping little bits in place, and then maybe three minutes on the hot plate to heat it up to the right temperature, the solder melted. It all looks like a finally normal soldered board. I am astounded. If this works, I'll be incredibly impressed with both myself and the MakerBot guys whose instructions told me how to do this. So uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is hook up the thermistor and connect wires that will then run into the relay board and all that stuff that will give the, the heating plate power uh, and move on to the next step. So let's get started.
Okay, so um, the hard part of the soldering is done. I've uh, soldered a whole boatload of little components on this board. Uh, I've got all the cable connectors on. I've got a thermistor poking through to measure the temperature on the bottom. This is just similar to the thermistor that's on the, the uh, plastruder over there on the heating element to tell what temperature it is. And then the next thing to do is to actually build the mechanical stuff that will let this connect to uh, the, the heating stage. So that means I have to mount this on here and then there's an aluminum piece and then there's some tape that goes on top and some other stuff. So um, I guess stay tuned and let's uh, move on to the next step. So I'm almost done. Uh, basically, I have to apply this thin piece of Captain film, scuff it up, wire this bad boy into the machine, and I'm I'm good to go. We're ready to try it out. Uh, so let's, uh, let's well, let's get going and see how how it does. I've built everything, I've installed it, I've powered it up, there's lights, it's getting warm. Huge success. Um, I, I mean, I have to say, the SMT soldering made the whole thing much, much easier. I mean, it literally would have taken hours and hours and hours to wheel, to weld, uh, solder rather. You know, tiny little like three millimeter, five millimeter resistors and LEDs onto this board. Um, we'll do the test print probably tomorrow. It's getting toward the end of the day. I don't think we have time to get one done. Uh, plus we're doing TNT over there, so a lot of noise and stuff would be bad. Uh, but I mean, huge success. I am so excited that this worked. And I think we're gonna be able to, between this and the new Plast Reader, we should be able to produce some really, really amazing test prints. And we're back. Uh, so uh, MakerBot's warmed up, everything's plugged in. I'm going to try our first print with the heated build platform on and uh, well, let's see how it goes. Keep your fingers crossed. Okay, so the heated build platform works. This little guy is hot as hell. Um, it's not a perfect print. I think we're having problems with the Z-axis motor. That's this guy right here. It feels like it's about, well, really, really hot right now, probably 50 or 60 degrees Celsius. 
So I wonder if maybe we have something overheating or there's some tension problem or something. I'll, I'll figure it out, work on it. But uh, this is our uh, test cube printed by the Plastruder Mark V with the heated build platform. So for Tested, I'm Will. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys uh, next time.